Hello and welcome back to another episode of Smart Tips. My name is Gavin Brennan. I'm a product specialist here at Smart Suite. And today we're going to be going over what could be one of the most important episodes of Smart Tips so far. And that is going to be how to split up information. What are the best practices for splitting solutions, tables, or even fields to make sure that all the information within your workspace is organized and clean? So I'm starting out of the OKRs and key metrics templated solution. So the thing with this solution is that it has a lot of different types of data all existing within the one solution. So as you can see, we have this metrics table, which is supposed to represent key performance indicators or KPIs, but we also have a sales pipeline, which is just like the sales pipeline within the CRM. We also have a company objectives table and a business strategy table. And all four of these different unrelated tables are all existing within the same solution so that we can have a dashboard where you can see your KPIs or your sales numbers or your objectives and strategies in comparison to those KPIs and sales numbers. So this is great because it's really simplistic, right? You have your CRM and your objectives and strategies all in one place. But as you grow and as you scale, you're probably not going to want to have all of these tables in the same solution. You're going to want to split up the different workflows from one another and put those into different solutions. Because SmartSuite is a relational database, you're able to, inside of this dashboard right here, take information from the sales pipeline, even if it's not in this solution. If this was existing in our sales CRM, you could still connect it to this dashboard. Same thing with the objectives and strategies. So let's go back to our workspace and let's look at these four different solutions. Each of these represent just one workflow, except for the OKRs and key metrics that we were just discussing a second ago. Project management, of course, that's all going to be project management related stuff, but you wouldn't want your sales pipeline that might exist within your CRM to be in your project management because you could always just link the information from the project management system to the CRM and vice versa. Same thing goes for goals and objectives. You want to split information into a table when you think it encapsulates one workflow. You don't want potential clients mixing with ongoing clients. For example, potential clients are going to live in the CRM and ongoing clients are going to live in the project management system. Now, once we're inside of a project management system, how do you decide what information goes into what table? And the answer here is pretty simple, but there are a few caveats to it. You want to make sure that one table just encapsulates one type of thing, one type of record, right? So this whole table is all going to be projects. All eight of these records are all projects. Same thing goes for tasks or for deliverables or for change requests or anything like that. Each one of these tables just is supposed to represent that one piece of data. But what happens when you may have projects that have different types? Maybe you have web design clients and social media clients, and the information that you need for web design clients is very different than those for social media clients. Should you split those up into two different tables? Well, the answer to that is up to your preference. What we go for internally that someone on my team was able to tell me, and that's really guided my thought process when splitting tables, is if 70% of the fields within a table are the same. So let's say that these two records are both here within the project, right? Do the social media management and web design have 70% of the same fields required for the information, right? So for web design, we may need to know what uh, domain it's hosted on, but for social media management, we may not need that. But in general, both social media management and web design will both need a stage. It'll both need a project manager. They'll both need a type. It'll just decide what type it is right here. They'll both need a due date, progress, probably some documents, a stoplight status, description. And as you can see, they definitely have at least 70% of the field types in common, meaning that they could probably go within the same table. Because they're both projects, why would we want to split them up? The only reason we would need to is if the two projects are so wildly different and the needs for the fields that we must split them up into two different tables. But then later on, as you continue to build, it may be more difficult to scale. So just to recap, you want to have one solution encapsulate just one workflow. 
and you want one table to encapsulate just one type of data that has 70% of the same fields for every single record. So let's go back to our good old friend, the OKRs and key metrics solution. Because we have this sales pipeline existing within our sales CRM solution, and then we have these objectives and strategies existing within the goals and objectives solution, we can even go here and delete these tables. So I'm gonna go do that. I don't recommend doing this without first making sure that you're not getting rid of any sensitive data, anything that really matters. I'm only doing this for example. So now we have the, all the data for strategies, objectives, and the sales numbers all gone. The only thing that still exists is the actual KPIs and the metrics. This tab of the dashboard looks just fine, right? Because this is all metrics. But if we were to go to sales, now you can see everything is all broken because I deleted that table. But what I can do now is I can go and change the source of this to come directly from our sales CRM. So once you click on source, it'll either give you a selection of all solutions or it'll tell you the solution that you're currently drilled into right here. You go back, you look up the sales CRM. I have a lot of sales CRMs, but I can go and say, okay, well, this is gonna pull from the opportunities table of the sales CRM. And then there we go. So now you can see the total pipeline is fixed because now it's pulling all 18 opportunities from the sales CRM directly without having to have that table right here. So it's a really small thing. A lot of people, they might think about this naturally. Some people, it's like, I wanna keep everything all in one solution. And again, it's up to your preference, right? You can use and build smart suite any way that you really want to or need to. But with that in mind, you wanna make sure that as you're building, you can create a strong functional foundation so that as you continue to build stuff for the years and months to come, you have everything organized and clean so no data gets lost. So that's essentially it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And until next week, Keep on enjoying SmartSuite.